ostatnią. Alright, 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 alright. Let us cause quadrant of angle, please. Let us cause the concept of quadrant of angle. Quadrant of angle. Alright. Um, first is first. Um, the concept of quadrant of angle helps in reducing larger angle to an acute angle from um, from most especially the special angle so when it comes to the concept of the concept of angle we we'll try to reduce larger um, angles into what the smaller angle basically into the special angle such as 30 45 and what the and 60 perhaps 90 and um, the 90 so it's added to it safe one two all right so that becomes like the idea we are studying the concept, the concept of quadrant of angle so the reason why i'm studying this this topic is to reduce larger value or larger angle into um smaller angles then let's now discuss something about the concept of quadrant angle so um in real life sense we have four quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrant so i'm asking a diagram for the for this quadrant in front of you now so first first let's consider um a graph in this case observe let's consider a graph in this case i have a graph in this case please we know that this is our x as x this is a y as x so i'm having four um quadrant here so let's call this one our first quadrant second third and fourth quadrant so um this is my first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and what then and fourth quadrant now at this point now note that i use one key concept to master this stuff because it is what all student taste coffee that's the concept so this becomes a i will explain the reason this a all this is student taste um i have coffee c it becomes all students taste coffee what do we mean by that we mean that all all means both sign cause and time are positive in the what in the first quadrant so for my first quadrant um sign theta is positive cause theta is what positive and tan theta is also what the positive so for my first quadrant here which is all all means everything is what positive this is all most to students is only this one now means that only sign that has positive so we have that sign theta is what positive cause theta now we what negative and tan theta we what negative too why because this is, this, this is all about students that's x stand for sign so it means that sign as only, only positive here why the rest as negative so for second quadrant sign as positive why the rest are what negative for the third quadrant tan is already the positive value there so sign here sign is what is negative cos theta is negative but tan theta is what positive are the what third quadrant for the first quadrant that's c it means cos is positive so i have that sign theta is negative Cause theta is um, negative to y tan, sorry, positive y tan theta is what negative. So for the first quadrant, all the ratios are positive. Second quadrant, only sign is positive. Third, only tan positive. Why um why the fourth quadrant only um cos that is what positive. So now at this point now, um when am I to consider um quadrant A, B, C, and D? So not that for quadrant A, I have my value as being equal to 180 minus theta. The correct, the correct angle of um what's it called? First quadrant becomes 180 minus theta. The second the second quadrant value for my um what's it called? Second quadrant gives what the 180 minus what theta also. For my third quadrant, the angle gives what the theta minus what 180. Why for this one, I have the 360 minus theta. So note that when it comes to now, listen, listen up. Let's say I give you a question now. 
how do you know that you are applying 180 star or 180 minus theta or theta minus 180 or um, 360 minus theta? The idea is that um, this is what a right angle in shape. This is 90, right? So if I'm considering angle zero, observe please. For my first quadrant, for my first quadrant, I'm considering what angle zero to what angle 90. Any angle I give between 0 and 90, use the first quadrant concept. For quadrant 2, second quadrant, if I'm given um, angle 91 to what? 180 degrees, I apply the idea of what? Second quadrant. For my third quadrant, if I'm given um, the angle to be 181 to 270, I apply the idea of what? The third quadrant. Finally, for the fourth quadrant here, for the fourth quadrant, if I'm given 271 to what? 360, I will apply the, th the fourth quadrant. So when am I to apply this 180 minus theta? That's when I have what? An angle from zero to what? 90. When am I told, when am I applying um, this one? When I have a value, the angle from 91, sorry, 91, please. From 91 to 180. I will apply the second quadrant. So the fourth quadrant and third quadrant. I have this one here. <coughs> All right. With this two idea, let's move into something important called negative angle. At this point now, let's discuss negative angle. Sorry. Let's discuss ne negative angle. All right. Let's discuss negative angle. By the way, when it comes to the study of quadrant, which there's not how I want to study quadrant, I want to talk about the concept of what negative angle. For negative angle, here's the concept, it's quite simple. We know that look at this, we have sine, right? We have what cos, we have tan, we have um sec, we have cosec, we have what there, cot. Now, here's it. I'm having negative angle. So let's say I have negative angle, negative angle, negative angle, negative angle, <coughs> negative angle, and negative angle. What we know that if sine minus a negative angle multiply, we are expecting what to have a negative answer. Abby. But here's the idea. For this one now, I'll have sine. For this one here, I'll have a uh, minus sine theta the minus affect the minus affected this one but listen up sine and cosine alone are only affected by what the minus sign please cram it please or perhaps just know that sine and cosine they are similar so these two are only one that have what the negative why the rest become what they remain the same so in respect of the negative does not affect it so i have what the cos theta as my answer i'll have tan theta here yeah? i'll have sec theta i'll have cot theta so note that it's only sine and cosec that has um the effect of what the negative sign the negative does not affect the other angle so with this one now let's solve some problems and let's see what we can actually do using this concept welcome back let's try to solve this particular problem here and let's see what we get that is first you can say is express the following as a um, ratio of acute angle acute angle are simply angle less than what they 90 degrees so and if possible and if please and if possible leave your answer as answer in what in sort right so i'm given a to i i'll do a and c then you do the minimum for me and leave your answer in the comment section below i will do a b c so you do um observe that i'm doing a b c purposely because i have sine cos and time so i've covered it all together so i've, I've covered sine cos and time that's why i'm doing a b c so you do the rest right leave your answer in the comment section below please i'll reply you as fast as i can let's do a please solution let's solve the question a for a i have sine 125 degree we said the idea of us the reason why we are studying 
current of angle is to reduce what the larger angle into what the smaller angle or perhaps acute angle now look up please this is sine one two five listen up the value one to five first on our quadrant that's the question you ask yourself the value one to five first on our quadrant check this table i gave you check this thing i gave you the first quadrant second third or fourth the value one to five first under what under second quadrant <coughs> so for, for second quadrant there what's my expression that's what 180 minus what minus theta so for me i'll have i'll have sign this sign remains now look up the sign remains the same i'll have sign into what there what's the current value there 180 minus what minus theta so 180 minus theta from here i'll have sign into 180 minus theta what's my theta there that's one to five so i'll have 180 minus one two five please give me value please i'll have sign what there five abi 55 i'll have sign 50 five as my angle observe that i've reduced this one now into what the into acute angle right so this is how it works let's do um why is this an acute angle why because it's less than what 90 degree let's do um b and let's see what we get um for b what do i have i have cos what one four six i have cos one four six degree please help me check one four six what quadrant does it fall to one four six that's one four six on that second quadrant again i'll be now so what do i have there i have course observe listen up listen up what is you sign check your table that value there your table why the, the reason why i use sign as positive value is because of look up please is because Listen up, please. I have 180 minus theta as the um, quadrant where this angle, this angle falls. Right? Now, why is that I'm using a, a positive sign? Because at second quadrant, sign is what? Positive. Yeah. Now, look up now. For this one now, this angle falls under what? Second quadrant, Abi. But it is cos. That cos is what? A negative value. So cos is negative. So I'll have um, a negative in the front equal to a negative what's cost into what's the value 180 minus what theta so i'll have a negative cost what's this one please that's um 180 minus what 146 give value please minus cost what value please 34 all right 34 degrees observe that this is what an acute angle less than 90 right so let's do c for C, I have tan, tan what then? Tan what? 120, Abi. So let me check. 120 falls under what? What quadrant, please? C, same what there? Same two quadrant, second, second quadrant, Abi. But tan is what? Negative. So I have um, a negative tan into what? 180 minus theta as the value for the quadrant, Abi. So for me, I will have a negative tan into 180 minus what's it what's it up please 120 give value please minus than what eh? 60 degrees now observe they, they told us that if possible leave your answer in root form now previous class what is called about because of what the concept of um what's it called uh, special angles we said tan 60 as its value which is what root 2 over 2 so it means that i'll be having my answer as minus root 2 over 2. so this is my answer here yeah. so you do um the rest and leave your answer in the comment section below see you in the next class also i just created a whatsapp group where several students from different countries combine together to share ideas if you're interested in joining this whatsapp group i'll drop the link to the whatsapp group in the description of this video right so check the link uh sorry Check this, this description of this video. I'll drop a link to the WhatsApp group. If you're interested, you can join so you can share ideas with several students from other countries. So, see you in the next class. Thanks for watching and welcome to Excellent Link Academy.